Well, I was already out here spreading seed. I don't think you can see it. All right, I used a quad. We got this uh, Yamaha Kodiak we use around here. My grandfather used to take it hunting in Maine. Still got the Maine tag on it. You can register ATVs in Maine. But uh, had to rig this thing up. This thing's old and decrepit. Still works, but the metal bars that hold it to the frame of the quad rotted off. So we rigged it on there with some wood and some hose clamps. All right. I just got that done. I put some uh, Kentucky 31 out here. Like I said, I'm just putting it out here for ground cover for the summer. I'm not really going to harvest it or anything. It's just I'm so over fighting the deer every year for corn. So I'm going to go get my drag uh my fence, I got a fence with like a six by six log on it that I drag out here to dust the seed in so the birds can't eat it. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so that's why I'm doing it today. See what happens. I'll go drive around the S10 with the AC on, watching YouTube. Dust all this stuff in. <laughs> Get in my air conditioned tractor, right? This is that fence I was talking about. I usually use one of the four-wheel drive trucks, but none of my four-wheel drive ones are running right now, so besides the Xterra, but this thing's like grown in the ground. Oh, yeah. Got this piece of paracord on here. does a pretty good job. See if that log stays in there. It's got some screws in it, so it should. Looks like we got an unwanted guest. Is it an old hole? I don't know, it goes pretty deep. All right, well. We'll go drag this thing around the field for the next, both fields, for the next hour, I guess.
as you can imagine, it's not the most desirable job to do in an open tractor, right? <laughs> but it does a really good job, though. I've been doing it this way for years, and as you can see, it smooths it out really good. You can't really see the seeds. Maybe a few here and there. All right. There is a lot of rock still in this field, though. But not bad in the truck with the AC going it's definitely a dusty job yeah but it's uh, it's rained out here enough since I plowed it that I ain't got to worry about sinking I don't think it seems like it's doing it pretty good all right that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next little bit we'll see what else we get into today all right that didn't take too long goes fast with the truck <laughs> it's dusty though <laughs> Jeez. Uh, definitely does a good job of smoothing it out knocks the humps down all right roll it up put it back over here till next time <laughs> oh on this end there's like a piece of solid all thread see it and uh, I ran that, laced that through the fence just to help support it. And then, like I said, there's a 6x6 six six or 4x6 six or something, whatever that is. You know, and then it's wrapped over it, right, and then just tied off so it holds the log in here. And there's some screws in here helping, helping hold the log in place. All right, I guess we'll go to a car wash or go up front and hose this thing off. I think I still got a couple tokens for a car wash, so maybe I'll do that when I go to get my brother. Figure that out. Come on. This thing's probably gonna break. There it goes. Get rubbers decaying on that thing. Apparently, this thing fell off. The uh, front differential drive shaft cover. It looks like it used to have a clamp on it. But maybe it, it's probably just like a spring clamp of some sort. I guess messing with the blueberry branches that probably grabs this thing pretty bad. That thing's sharp.
tire's getting pretty bad. The crack, some of the sidewall's starting to crack too. I don't know if you see that on camera. Right there. This one blew out on me last year. I replaced it. You see it's brand new. Alright, start making some blueberry money. This one's gonna have to get changed out too. That's for sure. It made it a long time, 2001. <sighs> In the sun. Plus the loader puts a lot more stress on it. I also want to drain this front differential, which I've never done yet. You see that bolt down there at the bottom of the spindle? I'm hoping I can do it without taking the rim off. It's probably going to make a mess, but this is the fill plug right here. I don't know if you can see it. Side that link. This is really tight. I mean, it's like <laughs> it didn't leave much room. It's constantly hitting the coolant line. The coolant line's really, really close to the the belt. Trash pickers. Picking the trash pickers trash. That's some gangster stuff. <laughs> mm, this is probably going to be pretty rank. <clears throat> so, yeah, but not in the van. You can't. The van, there's not, there's not enough room in the van. <laughs> yeah, the Suburban, you can put this top post in and I got over here if you want. But... Alright. Come out of Oh! Figured that was going to happen. That is disgusting! Ugh. Oh man. That's not good. It got all over my new concrete. <laughs> wow, that You're is some it. that is some gross stuff right there. I probably should turn the wheel for this job. grass growing in here <laughs> well I think I'm gonna shut this thing down pretty soon we gotta get these tomatoes planted maybe this afternoon cucumbers a little bit more lettuce then I'm probably gonna shut this thing down I need to steal these batteries for the summer to run the fans in the van and stuff and maybe on the tent <laughs> so we'll have to do that because I haven't really came across any good ones at the scrapyard lately I have two brand new, uh, like, dozer batteries, you know, like, uh, for, like, a big machine, Caterpillar. They don't have any fluid in them yet, and I really don't want to put, I have the acid, but I really don't want to put the acid in them because I kind of want to keep them for, you know, long-term preps, right? Because anybody knows anything about batteries, as soon as the acid goes in them, that's when they start, it's all downhill from there, it's when it starts dying you know so 
and go buy a battery at the store and it's had acid in it for a year sitting on the shelf it's it's a year old battery you know with no charging oh the grass looks good nice and manicured All right. Might try to burn that pile tonight, get rid of it. Maybe I'll try to go live while we're doing that, see if it works. I ain't never done it before, but we'll see if the phone can handle it. <laughs> well, it's Memorial Day. I think a lot of people don't understand what this day's about, right? It's not about the first day of summer. It's not about going to the beach. It's not about parades. It's about protecting this, right? I guess we'll end this video with a minute of silence for our fallen brothers, right? <laughs>